Okay, I'm going to show you how to program a VFO for an analog channel using the Anytone D868. Uh, there's no way to put a VFO channel into memory, but you can still work in the VFO. So the first thing we want to do is enter VFO mode, which we're in right now. For me, it's a short press of the P2. The next thing I want to do is I want to enter my receive frequency. 4497750. Uh, you can hit the pound to enter that, or if you hit the fifth uh, digit after the decimal, that'll enter in. Uh, we want to go into menu. We want to go into settings and channel set. Everything we do for the channel for VFO was going to be in channel set. We have our receive frequency set. We want to select the transmit frequency. I'm going to delete what's in there now, and I'm going to type in 444775, and I'm going to hit the pound button right here, and that'll pretty much enter it. We'll confirm that, and I'll back out of here. So we have our receive frequency. Oh, we're still in analog, the digital mode. We have a receive frequency, we have a transmit frequency. Let's go back to settings. Channel set, channel type is the next thing. We want to move that back to analog because we want to be able to see our analog uh, options. So we have the analog set. Uh, the next thing we want to do is bandwidth. I want to make sure that my bandwidth is set up for wide. Okay, we don't want to be in narrow. I mean, you could be in narrow, but for what I use, it's going to be wide. So we're going to select wide. And uh, the next thing we want to do is select select our uh, our tone. Uh, TCDT. This is your transmit tone. This is your receive tone. And this would be your CTCSS tone. So instead of manually putting a, a receive and a transmit in. Uh, if you use a CTCSS, this is where you want to go. So here I'm going to select this, CTCSS, and I want 131.8. So that's set. And that's it. Now when I key up, I should be keying up on the repeater with the correct tone, KB2MXV. All right, and again, you can't put this into memory. You can't put that into memory, but at least you can work uh, in the VFO if you're out in the field and you want to uh, switch channels up.